So this is your average Minecraft server. It has a good UI, but it has a lot of ads. My mission today is to create a free Minecraft server. However, you will still need a computer or a laptop to run it on. So let's say that you're hosting your servers at Aternos. It's not 24 seven. If you want a really good Minecraft server, you have to pay a monthly subscription, but I'll try to get everything a good server has for free. Of course, that's not counting the PC. So essentially my plan is to build a server that runs 24 hours, seven days a week. And basically it's able to add any plugin. So yeah, but I don't know which PC to use and I don't know how to set it up. So that's the thing that we're gonna have to figure out. So I want a PC that has a really nice performance. It also doesn't cost that much and is easy to set up. So we could use this laptop, but the problem is it's pretty much the screen isn't working and overall it's not that powerful. If you want to have a really nice server, I need a better PC. If you have a really nice laptop that you don't use, this could be actually a pretty good use for it. That's why we're going to use this PC setup. It's pretty nice. It's not that good. Not, it's not like a crazy PC, it should be good for the server and yeah, we're gonna set it up. So to start the server, I used Paper MC because honestly, I don't know why. I just clicked the first video I saw and this one came up, so I watched it. Don't forget to check out the YouTube video. I didn't say everything that he did and I will talk about things that I experienced. Go watch this video after that if you wanna see the full tutorial. Probably the easiest part is installing the actual server. You just install PaperMC like I did right here. And then you install Java, which basically runs the entire server on Java. And Java is basically the application that Java Minecraft Edition is running on, so it could be compatible. The hard thing is connecting other people to your server. But we can figure that out later. First, we're just gonna click on the paper mc file the files will magically just start to appear basically our server is created before we start the server you just need to go in this file and change it from false to true that's just what it needs to do if you want to start the server we just double click on paper mc file again and we are in the server so now it's time for a little bit of a tricky part now we can install playit.gg which is Basically what it does, it connects people to their server that then connect to your PC. I don't know, it's something like that. You can learn more about them on their website. But yeah, we're gonna install play.gg. So the installation process for play.gg is a bit harder, so don't forget to watch this video carefully and just copy everything I do. First, you gotta search for play.gg on Google or just go into my Discord and get the link. Then, you're gonna click Windows Installer and download the Windows Installer. It's, that's pretty simple. You save it wherever you want, then you just open it and then you will see a URL and that URL you gotta copy and paste into whatever browser make sure that the play.gg is running in the background then you're gonna set up your account i used a guest account but you should probably use your normal account then you gotta set up your agent which is pretty straightforward you just basically just click everything next and you're gonna be done you're gonna have a server created that, that people can join and it's pretty pretty nice pretty nice but now i gotta still get my plugins and plugins is pretty easy to install you just find your plugin on google that's pretty simple you just search it up whatever you want it, it doesn't really matter then you just save it into the folder where you saved your minecraft server you just find the plugins folder paste it in restart the server and it's that easy you have plugins on your server and if you want to join my server just copy the address that's on the screen now it does support cracked as well and yeah thank you so much for watching and make sure to watch this video next